We're waiting for the red light. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's the messiest start I've seen all season. There was some real charging. So I think Liberani and Mallison hit the back. But Mecklau's come through. Foggy's there with Slight on his elbow. But I think somebody snuck through up the inside. No, Carl Fogarty looked to me like he'd got that OK. He was right there with Causa. Causa was right beside him. But I think Carl Fogarty made that start just about. Yes, yes he did. Carl Fogarty and Aaron Slight it is in second place. And Troy Causa third. Looks good for my little prediction there, Jerry. It does, doesn't it? Next. Now, let's see just how quick that Honda really is. It's going to be a fascinating battle. Matt Maladin, we saw, by the way, earlier, riding the second of Freddy Kawasaki. And there's Freddie Spencer, not improved yet on his 20th qualifying position. Still got to go for it at the moment, but it's Carl Fogarty then that leads this opening race here in Indonesia as we look back down at the back markers. Fogarty from Slight, Slight looking at the inside. Causa in third, then it's Gobert. Then it's Reynolds and Keeley. There they go, Foggy still leading, looking back down the leading group. Oh, oh, oh dear. The battle at the front, here he is getting fraud at the front, if we get a chance to look at it, that is. Oh, while we look at, uh, well, I saw Mauro Lucchiari is about the only man that I want to recognise in that bunch at the moment. And there Freddy. goes Freddie Spencer going through there. Was he four from last now, poor yeah. old Fred? I think poor old Fred's made a play. A little up. bit of work there, that's the photographer back on board now with the Kawasaki man. This is Gobert, Gobert's up to third then in that case, so Gobert is third. Causa has dropped back a place, but look at fucking he's away already at the front. Slide in second place, Gobert third, Causa fourth, Reynolds fifth, and then sixth place is Keeley, but Keeley's being caught now. Yeah, Keeley's being caught by Tarovano and by Crayfar. That's Simon Crayfar, the front row qualifier, not looking so good at the moment as Carl again stretches it down the front straight. Well, he's responded to the challenge of Aaron Slide. Don't forget that Honda number three was half a second a lap quicker than him in qualifying. Yeah, it's going to be fascinating. Don't forget what was said earlier on when we said that uh, their first qualifying was the time that they had to take for their grid positions, of course and we figured that these things have been developed a little bit more in the warm-up anyway this morning and sure enough Carl Fogarty as usual is well and truly away at the front they must wonder what they've got to do with this man just look at him and why we're obsessed with that Ducati in last place I'm not quite there sure there we are the that, that's the one we're obsessed with the one in first place it's Carl Fogarty still then it's Slight then it's Gobert then Causa now Keeley Ooh. right there, I thought Keeley was Keeley, on for a good Keeley, quickest man out there, got to be, he's no. made up so much ground. That's Mauro Lucchiari 12, but it's Keeley who's making ground up, not quite as much as this boy though. Carl Fogarty over the line one more time. Well, they oh. must have thought he might take a day off after winning the World Championship back in Athens. Not a chance of it. Fogarty then flying as usual. Look at this battle for third place now, and through goes Corsa. Corsa regains it in front of Gobert, and then it's this man, 27, Pierre Francesco Keeley. Keeley's going quick. Causa knows it, and Causa's got his finger out well and truly now. Keely a qualified fifth, starting off the second row. There he is in fifth at the moment, in front of John Reynolds, behind Fogarty's slide. Look at the third place Look at the third place oh. They're all over each other. Gobert drops in across the front. We're looking at John Reynolds with the bike on the move there. Reynolds moving right to the berm. So John Reynolds finding himself right out on the white line. And he's got pressure from Pirovano and from Crafar, then Von Tempe. And then Andy Mecklau. Quick look down there, Julian. I know, I've got him. I haven't seen him all year, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Jules. There I'm is Freddie Spencer out for a tour up here in uh, Indonesia. Aaron oh. Slight, and that's the view he gets of Carl Fogarty. Fogarty is gone, <laughs> completely mad. <laughs> Fogarty has cleared off in the distance. Well, Aaron Slight gives us good pictures, but not many good pictures of Carl Fogarty because he's the speck in the distance. Here he is then, numero uno, Carl Fogarty. Well, champion. Well, I thought we'd sort of mind the seam of superlatives completely out this year, Keith. And, oh, there's that superb third place side as we look at seventh place for Robin Oak. So, Gobert still in third place then, but under pressure now from Causa and Keeley. Well, when's the time he hasn't been in this race, I suppose. Indeed. So, the big race here on the track today is for third place. It would look as Causa pulls out the slip there, you see it in the background. Causa is 11, 17 is Gobert, and Gobert goes back to the inside, and 27 is Keeley looking for a way past at least to end up on the dirt. Just look how close Keeley's running. Good shot of Causa, lovely shot of Causa. <laughs> well, his right hand. Yeah, will he use it in any unconventional <laughs> And Crayfar and Pirovano are past John Reynolds, and Von Tem he is now closing on JR. Well, Reynolds was in big trouble. I saw him slip sliding away in that right hander a little bit earlier on. In fact, this right hander. Yeah, and, the, and the, what's happening? <laughs> oh dear, Corsa is still in front of Corsa. Uh, get it right, go, but. Spit it out, Jules. I'm trying. <laughs> While we look from Aaron Slight's bike onto the start and finish straight, there is Carl Fogarty. He's almost off the start and finish straight. Then it's number three, Aaron Slight going through. Then Corsa, for some very strange reason, yeah. seems to have woken up. He's obviously switched to Australian Here comes side. Then it's Keeley now, 27 Keeley goes underneath Gobert, there he is, that is Pierre Francesco. 
and then Anthony Gobert dropped back a place. Uh, Gobert, who started off so well from a fairly dire qualifying position, being relegated all the time, and Perovano and Crafar are up to him. Bontempi is now in front of John Reynolds as we look at second place man number three, Aaron Slight, the New Zealander, on the Honda. And he has an ever decreasing speck in front of him, which is number one, the world champion, Carl Fogarty. Yeah, and the difference between second and third in terms of points is what, three points, isn't it? So, uh, it matters when there's only nine points between you and four races to count. Very important dice between these two. Number three, Aaron Schleit, number 11, Troy Corsa. Keeley still in fourth place, and behind him, still in fifth place, is Anthony Gobert. Oh. Look at Corsa. Keep the power on all yes. the way through that flip-flop, those S's. But uh, there is Carl Fogarty, and it looks to me like Keeley now. He's closing in slightly. Keeley, whether it's our camera shot because of the long way, and he was hard on the brake down to that right hand. And Keeley then... Closing in slightly. Uh, Reynolds has got in front of Bontempi, number eight, but Lukiari, number 12. Carl oh, Bontempi sideways on there. Well, Bontempi, you remember back a few rounds, I think uh, it was Spain, Spain, wasn't it? Yes, <laughs> where he was absolutely sideways on. Yep. Back with the second place battle, and still it's Aaron Slight. Yes, that, that uh, Bontempi sliding, Peter Collins, the ex-world uh, world speedway champion, beg his pardon, said they should have filed the lock stops down, pushed the tank back. It'd be much more fun. He ended up, though, where Peter Collins thought he might. That was in the dirt. Oh, Corsa! Corsa Corsa then pulls out the slip there of Aaron Slight. That's it in the second place. Slight, he can't quite fight back. So Corsa goes second. And look at the advantage. He's dragged out already. Looks over his shoulder. Here comes Aaron! Oh, dear me. Thank you very much. (laughs) We shall see as the race comes to a conclusion. One thing is for sure, Pierre Francesco Keeley's challenge in fourth place has evaporated. The guy is going backwards now, but he's got a big cushion before Anthony Gobert comes along in fifth place. But then Andy Metlau in front of Perovano now into sixth place. Making up progress. Well, I don't think Perovano's in there anymore. We've lost Perovano. Perovano. Gone. Yes, it's pace now. That's, oh, sorry, Hale that's up there now. <laughs> On the pace. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> and look, 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 these look, Ari's there as well. There's pace. Hail! <laughs> You've got me doing it. Never mind, Julian. You'll catch up in a minute. 67 is Mike Hale. This is number one, Carl Fogarty, and he is in the best place possible on any given track. Way, way out in front now. Able to control the race. And just look at the distance he leads by. Oh, and there it is. Oh, that's press cutie, rather. Yes, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a new chatty pipe, and I thought, Corsa's not then. by, but is Corsa going to slingshot past the pair of them? That's the question. Here we go. Corsa pulls out of the big slipstream of press cutie and gets the slingshot. Does he go past slight? Whoa. Ooh. Only just. Dearie me. Now, Who's can he right back straight away? Well, he did last time, but I don't think so this time. No, Corsa then has got his way by. We're on board with Aaron Slight. That is Troy Corsa in front of him. He's going to have a go. He's going to get him with this right-hander, I'm sure. Oh, he's going to have to really oh. drive very hard. Corsa slams the door shut on Aaron Slight. So, Slight, he now knows what he's got to do yet again. Troy Corsa is the man in form, and you can see there the traction that Corsa got out yeah. of that turn brilliantly. Yeah. The Slight's Honda was really weaving. You can see the, the bike sitting down from the onboard, and basically... Just couldn't get the power down anywhere near as hard as Troy Corsa could. Corsa's bike as ever, because Corsa rides very, very smoothly indeed. Looked very good. Fogarty Slight Corsa. We're on board with Aaron Slight looking at Corsa. Keeley, Govan, and Perovano is there in sixth place. So obviously, Mecklau and Perovano are battling it out for that sixth and seventh place. And then it is, of course, Mike Hale that's in there as well. Oh, there is Keeley out. Keeley is out. So 27 Keeley goes the same way as his teammate, Liberani. Pierre yeah, Francesco Keeley disastrously is out of fourth place, so that puts Gobert up to fourth now. Well, things are changing. Fogarty calls a slight. Gobert now fourth. Perovino now fifth. Hale is up to sixth. So what's happened to uh, Mecklau? We don't know. He must have dropped down to seventh. We'll wait and see if we get confirmation of that. But Mike Hale in his well, second world superbike race ever, in fact third if we take the two rounds, two races yep. that were done in America, um, is riding brilliantly up there in sixth place. As we go back to the man who has retained his world title, Carl Fogarty, a man from Blackburn, at the head of the field, another imperious win coming up, Keith. He did it as he liked, off second of the spot on the grid. Uh, they haven't seen him, have they? Since, what, second or third corner, the guy has destroyed him again. First corner, he got in front, and that was really it. Aaron Slight took a bit of a oh. look. Oh, he's looking down at the bike again. Well, that, that's only to make Slick yes. feel a bit worse. Slick uh, sitting on pit wall. Slick's already feeling a bit sick. He's going to be even sicker as the bike breaks down. 
Fogarty then. Well, whatever his concerns may be for the bike, doesn't seem to be slowing him up any. I was to say, only really in Monza this year was he uh, worrying about something that needed worrying about when Keeley caught him on the last lap and Carl's thing was expiring. There it is then, Carl Fogarty takes the race win, so whatever the problem, it was one in his mind, not on the bike. Fogarty wins again. He's surely going for the record of the most points advantage at the end of any world championship because really he has such a massive lead now in this world championship. He's world champion already. He extends it still further. 25 points then go to Carl Fogarty. In second place should be Troy Corsa. There it is. Corsa confirmed in second. Slight gets third. Govert fourth. Provano gets fifth. Mike Hale, a good opening race for him in sixth place.